welcome to McJosher. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you dislike it, you can thumbs down, but I do have this new policy. So if you are going to thumbs down, please tell me why. I would like to know why you disliked this video so I can make it better for you the next time. And be also sure to subscribe and hit the bell button, which gives you notifications. Thanks. So let's talk about energy, particularly energy monitoring. So what is energy monitoring, you say? Well, think of the energy meter outside your house. It's the round thing and it has a little dial in there that goes around and sends the info off to your electric company so that they can send you a bill. This information is not available for you in real time unless you're standing there watching the little dial go around. There are remedies to this though and there's several companies nowadays that create devices that hook into your electric panel and they will tell you real-time information on your energy use. So two years ago, in my first two videos on my channel, I reviewed the Norio Home Energy Monitor. And this was my first energy monitor, and it allowed me to watch the energy use of my entire apartment. So let me give you a quick look at what the Norio can do. When you open up the app, the first thing you're greeted with is your current energy use. We're using 319 watts at this second in time. Scrolling down, you can see our estimated cost this billing cycle, and there's a budget. I set this budget. Uh, you can set this anything you want. Uh, and then scrolling down to the bottom, you'll see that there's this thing called always on power. Always on power is the power that you're using when basically everything is shut off. Uh, so this would be things like how much power your TV is using, or your phone charger or your computer charger or maybe your refrigerator, things that you don't really ever shut off. So this is your power use in the middle of the night when you're asleep. And I'm doing pretty good. We're in the top 19% for apartments our size. The history tab is the second tab and this will show you things like your energy usage over time. You can customize this by selecting year, day, month, billing cycle, things like that. And then they also have historic power over time. So this is a, a plot of your power usage. Uh, this is basically the thing from the first page transferred to time and history. So you can go back and forth and see, you know, what points of the day you're using the most power. So I found the Norio to be very interesting and a, a really nice device for just keeping an eye on things. However, there is a major drawback and that is there's things like a water heater in the basement and I can see it cycling on and off. When you look at this power plot, you see these big peaks. That's the water heater, but how much of my energy usage corresponds to the water heater or the refrigerator or the stove or the microwave? These big devices, they use a lot of power. Norio has a beta product that they were gracious enough to allow me to try for the past month or two. And this product essentially does appliance detection for appliances above 400 watts. This is a software update. Norio simply uploaded it to my account. I opened it up and voila, I had a different app. So let's dig into this a little bit. So looking in the app, you can see that there is a new tab. It's called appliances. And under this appliances tab, I have several appliances in here. Several of these devices were automatically added, such as the water heater and the dryer, uh, but other ones I added manually. To add manually, you go into the usage breakdown, then you simply add how many devices you have. These are the auto detect ones. So I, we have one dryer, we have one refrigerator, and we have one water heater. Now the uh, we do have heaters and we do have air conditioning. However, I found that the air conditioning did not auto detect very well, so I have that at zero right now. And then further down, you have the devices that you can manually add. So we have our bedroom AC unit, we have a dishwasher, living room AC, our microwave, our oven, our stove, our toaster, our washer. Now, when you first set up one of these devices, you click the little gear icon and you go into what is called training mode. In training mode, the device is training the artificial intelligence as to what this device looks like. So the Norio is monitoring the power flowing into your house at any given moment. And this can be going to a variety of devices. However, what it can do is it can look at the specific signatures. So when there's a jump in power use, say you turn on your stove and it goes up by 600 watts, and it trains the artificial intelligence based on these signatures. 
and then when it sees that signature again it says oh this device is on or this device is off to train it you have to turn the device on and then off and then it'll record that uh, in normal operation you don't want training mode to be on so you just leave it off if you do ever want to go back into a device and update the training and things like that you can do it so let's go into the dishwasher turn the training mode on and you can see it's asking me if I used the dishwasher 22 minutes ago well I did not so I will thumbs down that this is the biggest struggle I've had with the Norio yes I train it once or twice and and some devices it seems to detect pretty well uh, but other ones it, uh, it it really struggles to lock on to is it this device or not the other tab in the mobile app is the events tab and here you can find all of the events that norio is recording so you can see that 33 minutes ago it's saying that the stove was on that seems about right to me i, I made some tea so i'm gonna thumbs that up uh, at 440 there was definitely not the stove now i do know what was running at 440 that would have been our bedroom ac unit so i'll thumbs that down and say bedroom ac over time norio will learn and get smarter based on these recommendations that you give it on the mobile app we are kind of limited to this display and and that's a little problematic they do need a better way of displaying this information on the mobile app so if we go into our computer and log into norio you can see our current power usage basically what we looked at before now you can see it's gone up a little bit uh, i'm not sure on the reasons for that exactly if you scroll down the next you'll see is trained appliances so here we have things like the microwave the refrigerator the water heater the stove and always on and, and this is for yesterday now i believe there's actually an issue here the microwave should not be the largest uh, energy consuming device and then down at the bottom we have our typical energy use historic energy use uh, forecast as you saw before and the always on power but I wanted to look at our appliances so if you click on the appliances tab you can see all of the trained appliances and their energy use for a particular day so here is today Friday July 27th you can see the water heater the refrigerator the bedroom AC and the stove and you can see the bedroom AC there's these three points that I recorded earlier earlier those are now showing up as energy usage points and you can see the overall trace of the total power use uh, in our apartment the water heater uh, you can see these big spikes are now being recorded as the water heater so that is what we would expect I know the water heater cycles on periodically and it uses quite a bit of power when it does it so this is what I would expect from the water heater the refrigerator it's showing two little blocks of power. Now, I do know it's running right at this very moment, uh, and it's not recording that. Uh, I do believe the refrigerator is a little off. The microwave is showing a lot of power. I, I wouldn't be surprised that some of this power is actually the water heater or potentially the stove, uh, because this is a lot more power than we don't use our microwave this often. While this information is interesting and a little bit useful, my overall impression of the norio appliance detection is it's not very accurate now i think if i was a little more careful and i went in and trained it a little bit more rigorously i may be able to get it a little bit more accurately uh, but that is a somewhat complicated procedure to do it involves training it turning devices on and off always knowing what's on and off so you can either thumbs up or thumbs down it it's not too bad in our apartment because it's small and we don't have many devices but if you're in a large house that could involve a significant amount of work and also you're going to have to keep track of what's going on quite a bit now is there potential here yes I definitely know there's potential here this thing is detecting things it's just a matter of having enough data trained into the system that it does it correctly and if a lot of people have this device Norio can potentially source information from the crowd and use that to make it even more accurate. So what do you think of this Norio update? Is this something you would be interested in? Is this why you clicked on the video? I would love to hear your comments down below. So would Norio. They actually gave me this update in the hopes that I could put it out there and see what you guys thought. So definitely comment below and I will see you guys in the next video. That's it.